Hi guys, my name is Lucretia Denise and welcome to my channel. Um, today we're just going to get right into it and we're going to be talking about weight loss. Um, I have struggled with weight loss for many years now. Um, I think back in 2000, it was 2011 when I initially started trying to lose weight. I dropped like 35 pounds for my wedding, put it right back on after my wedding. Then I started back up maybe 2015. And yeah, it's just been a yo-yo every time I've tried. More recently, I started and lost 30 pounds about four years ago, 30, 35 pounds. That seems to be my magic number. And of course, I've gained it all back. Um, and I've tried every diet, every diet you can imagine. And I haven't been successful, but one diet I did try and I was successful with, and it did take me a while to put the weight back on, it's what I'm gonna be doing this time around, is Weight Watchers. And I use Weight Watchers more so for portion control opposed to calorie counting or any of that kind of stuff, although it is incorporated in there some kind of way. So with that being said, some of the things that I suffer with is binge eating. I am one of those people who I will do great all day long. I'll, you know, eat a good breakfast, pretty good lunch, and then around three, four o'clock, I'm just like, give, give me all the snacks. I need all the snacks. And that has been very detrimental to my weight loss every time. Um, I'll do work Tuesday through Friday and we're fed a lot in my office and it's hard to turn down free food. It's hard to turn down good free food, okay? And they feed us well. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to kind of balance all of that um, out. Some of my goals, and I've got everything wrote down, so if you see me looking down, that's that's why I'm looking down. Like I said, my current weight is 210.5. I think I think that's what it said, but we I put it I put it in the beginning. Um and my overall like I know I'm not gonna lose all this weight in two or three months. Even though I've seen videos where people are like how I lost X amount of pounds in three months. Girl, it's not gonna happen for me. I'm gonna be really, really grace. I'm gonna give myself grace on this go around. Um, and hopefully that'll help me keep it off. But okay, my overall goal weight is 150 pounds. Um, I am 5'5". Five five. I am a woman of a certain age. Mind your business. And um, it, it's harder for me to lose weight. Let, let me be honest, it's harder for me to lose weight, but I know I can lose weight. So right now I'm 210.5, her goal weight is 150, okay? Um, now that may change as I go, especially if I start looking like a little bobblehead or whatever, but as, and like the charts say, like with my BMI and my height and all of that, it's, it's really like 140, three, I want to say, is a healthy way for me. Child, I haven't been 143 since I was like 20. 24? 20, 24? I, I hadn't been that small and whew, it's been a very long time. So, um, let's get right into um, my month go. This, this is July the 4th. What a day to start a weight loss journey, right? But we doing it. Um, today is July the 4th and my goal for this month is to lose eight pounds. Now, I know eight pounds to some people, they'll be like, oh, that's a lot to try to lose in a month. But honestly, the average weight someone should be losing is two pounds a month. Although just starting out with everything that I'm going to be incorporating, I figure I will lose maybe, I ain't going to set myself up with that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna say eight pounds. If I only lose six pounds, I'm cool with it. Okay, I'm fine with it. It's 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 a journey. 
and I know what this journey in entails. So it's a journey. So month goal, eight pounds. Um, week one, my goal is to lose three pounds in week one. Now, before everybody lose their mind, okay? Three pounds, first week of losing weight, especially if you've been eating trash and I have been eating trash. Um, the first week you, you normally lose about, you lose your most weight, your most weight in that first week of weight loss. With that being said, saying that I wanna lose three pounds in the first week is really not that lofty of a goal. Um, I don't feel like if I only lose one and a half, two pounds, I'm fine with that. It's okay. Um, and I have top three things that I'm going to be doing in order to help me to lose this weight. And the first thing I want to incorporate, of course, is water. I have, like I said, lost weight several times. And on each journey that I was on at that time, the main thing that I incorporated was water. And I think I was drinking like a gallon a day. Kidneys was swimming. <laughs> Skin was glowing. Water. I'm gonna be incorporating water. So 105 ounces of water a day, which is half my body weight um, in ounces, is 105 ounces um, of water per day. So I'm gonna be doing that. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is the gym. I'm gonna go be going to the gym this week four times. Now, with my work schedule, I do go to work early, I get off pretty late. In order for me to get to the gym, it is going to be, it's gonna be hard, if I be honest. And I know it's gonna be hard, I know it's gonna be hard to make myself go to the gym after working 10 hours, but I have a goal and it's important to me. And I know the older you get, the more health issues you run into and I know a part of weight loss and eating right you can't just you know eat right you need to be active and i have a very sedentary job i sit down all day i'm not gonna even say pretty much you know part of it mm -mm. i sit down all day on my job and so while i'm at work i will be getting up going walking doing a little bit more than i do right now so 105 ounces of water a day to the gym four days a week this week and i'm going to be meal prepping today i'm going to meal prep for the next i need to meal prep for the rest of the week but my problem with meal prepping is i do not like i don't like food that's just been sitting for days i really don't but i do know if i don't meal prep that's gonna give me an excuse to go in that food court and get a bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit. That's my that's that's my go-to in the morning. And a cheeseburger and fries for lunch. And I mean, we just keep tumbling. We just and we don't need that. So we're gonna have to meal prep. So even if I just do two days, mm -mm, we're gonna have to do the total four days because I said I'm going to the gym four days this week, and they may not be. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. It very well may be go today, go tomorrow, skip Wednesday, go Thursday, skip Friday, go Saturday morning. That may be what it is. But I do need to meal prep because I want to be prepared for the week ahead. And the best way for me to do that is meal prep. Um, and I will... I can record that. I think that video, I'm, I may do that video today because like I said, I will be doing that today um, just to get me set, myself prepared for the rest, the rest of the week. I can't talk. My nerves, cause I know what's coming. Um, And another thing, I am a big snacker. Like, just like they feed us lunch, these companies feed us snacks, okay? And it's like Twix candy bars, Rice Krispie treats, chips, cake. Cake. I love cake. Um, 
cookies. I'm just going over the things that were brought to our office last week. Okay. Um, Y'all, it's just so much and it's so hard to lose weight in that office, but I love my job and that was one of the benefits of having that job. They fed us. They feed us, okay? Um, but it's not a benefit for my waistline, okay? So the reason why I really wanna do this is for my health reasons. I recently went to my yearly wellness visit and my cholesterol levels are crazy, okay? I used to joke and say, child, my cholesterol been high since I was 12 because my cholesterol was high when I was 12. I'm from the South. Don't judge me. Don't judge my mama, okay? Don't, just don't. But um, yeah, my cholesterol has been high for a long time in which, you know, my LDL, for y'all that don't know, the LDL is the bad cholesterol. It's high, my triglycerides are high. Although my HDL looked better than it did last year, we still rocking the boat. My cousin has had a stroke, my first cousin had a stroke. My sister has had a stroke. There's high blood pressure in my family. Um, my grandfather passed away from stomach cancer. Um, on my father's side, I wanna say there's diabetes. Um, like muscular sclerosis. There's so many health issues that could affect me that I could very well get under control for myself um simply by diet and exercise so that's one of my main reasons why i am going on this journey um i don't like the way my clothes fit i do not like the way the person that's standing in the mirror looking at back at me i i don't like i don't like the way she's looking right now because she can look better, right? So um, another reason is I'm still young, but I feel old, like I have back problems. And I didn't start having these back issues until I, until I really started putting a whole lot of weight on and it's like in the front, like in my stomach even. Um, yeah, and it's like I can feel a pull on my body in the front. When I'm sleeping at night, my back hurts, you know? And I have been to a neurosurgeon and I do have disc problems and I've had tumors removed out of my back. It's been an old thing, child. But um, for me, I don't like the way I look. I don't like the way I feel. My numbers are going up. I am 39 years old and I have so many friends that I love dearly who once they hit 40, they found out they had some kind of cancer or they started having blood pressure problems or they found out they were a diabetic or it's so many things that run through my head. You know, you learn in school, like as you age, the, the different things you start worrying about and I was like, at like 13 years old, you're like, why would I be worried about that? Like, why worry about that? You worry about that. So for me, this weight loss journey is so personal. It is so personal. And I hope that I can be an inspiration to someone who has been thinking about trying a weight loss journey, going on a weight loss journey, or maybe you're on a weight loss journey and it's not going the way you feel like it should go, or you just need a little motivation or some inspiration. So join me on this journey. I'm not really putting, personally, let me not lie. I'm putting a goal, a weight, um, what am I trying to say? I'm putting a time frame on it for myself personally. Really, I'm saying within eight months, I would like to reach my goal weight. I set my goals very lofty. You know, I'm a very much um, high thinker. My mama used to tell me that all the time. I am, I accept that about me, okay? Um, but I'm willing to put in the work. So 
with that being said, I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys will join me for this journey. I hope I can encourage someone to um, take your life back, right? Um, I hope I can encourage someone to take better care of yourself. Someone needs you. Someone, regardless of if you believe it or not, someone somewhere needs you to survive, okay? And we're trying to look good, okay? We really are. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you will like this video. Leave me some comments down below. If you have any weight loss goals, if you'll be joining me on this journey, some things you would like to see. Like I said, I will be doing a meal prep video. I, I think I'm going to do that meal prep video today. If not, I'll do it next week. Video ideas that you guys would like to say. Just leave all of that in the comment section below. Um, if you leave me a comment, I'm always going to comment back. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time.